A group of civil society activists have called on the federal government to do more to rescue Nigerians still under the captivity of Boko Haram and other armed groups in the northeast and other parts of the country. The group under the aegis of the Not Forgotten, Not Forsaken movement said Nigerians, especially women, must stand for their rights. The issue of human rights of Nigerians, especially in the insurgency ravaged Northeast, has been on the front burner with the recent executions of captives by the terror group Boko Haram. The convenience of this gathering said the need for all Nigerians to stand up and be counted in the fight against terror cannot be overemphasized. The court for a revamp of the nation's security architecture and on the federal government to do more to address the situation in the Northeast. They also called for the rescue of our captives by the terror group of Boko Haram and other armed groups. The gathering is in solidarity with all the girls that have been kidnapped by the insurgents, by the terrorists. The Chibok girls, you know, we still have more than a hundred of them that are not accounted for. This is, this is a move to say we are concerned about what is troubling Nigerians. And we hope that through this medium, the, the government will know that this cannot continue this way. They are just have to be the reaching. It is time for the government to reassess our security architecture. What has happened with what happened in Bono recently, where we lost about 118 gallant soldiers to a large extension that were failed in our security architecture. Our intelligence gathering is not working. Detecting attack is not working. Uh, getting indigenous knowledge of conflict, we don't seem to be there. So we need to do more as a country so that we save Nigerians from dying on daily basis for an offense that they know nothing about. So you will agree with me from the speakers, from the groups that are now gaining traction along the consensus built to challenge the government of the country to rise to the occasion because the Constitution, which is a supreme organic law regulating our affairs, insists that the primary purpose of government is to protect lives and property. That life is utterly destroyed, wantonly taken, and we cannot continue like this. For popular musician Shaz Oputa, the time is ripe for all Nigerians to rest to power from the old guard for Nigerians to truly develop and prosper. The people where they chop on the money, they don't reach 20. They don't reach, yes, they don't reach 20. The people where still go fix Nigeria, they feel not reach 20. But they'll be ready to lay down their lives for this country. I believe in Nigeria and I believe that the salvation of this country only lies in the hands of its exceptional people, the exceptional few. So we can encourage one another. There's something wrong. And we start from the leadership. Co-convener of the Bring Back Our Girls movement, Aisha Yusuf, who spoke on the issue of sexual harassment and molestation, called on women in the society to take charge and fight for gender equality. What I have to say is that it's time. Nobody will give you power anywhere. We need to come out and take it. We have watched over time since 1960. The men have been in position. A lot of women are being told that when women come into leadership position, there's going to be a problem. We have the problems anyway. And so the time has come for women to take up the mandate and ensure we come in to fix it. It is not time to be waiting to be given. We are not waiting to be given. We are not waiting for affirmative action. That's an insult on all of us because we are human beings in this country. We are 50% of this country and we have a say in this country and we must ensure that we do the right move. Most important is that there must be competence, character, and capacity and courage in coming out for leadership. And anybody who comes out to serve must serve the people. And if, if the person doesn't serve, should be asked to leave. Other contributors opine that there is need for Nigerians to work together as one to tackle some of the nation's challenges and restore balance to the country.